What's up guys, how my beautiful people doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, my name is Dan. Today I just wanted to quickly, very quickly talk about this new Fungal Acne Safe Moisturizer that I'm currently testing. It's not gonna be like a full review. I'm currently testing these, but they are amazing. These are slowly but surely becoming my holy grail moisturizers. Uh, we have the Minimalist Vitamin B5 10%. And we have the Aliens Lab Cosmetics All-In Ultra Light Soothing Gel Pre Moisturizer. Oh God, the long name is not giving. <laughs> okay. Even though it says Ultra Light, this one is actually very moisturizing. Yeah, these are quickly becoming my holy grails, along with, of course, the Geek and Gorgeous. I've been raving about this one for years at this point. Geek and Gorgeous Hydration Station. I do like Malaysia, you guys know I love that moisturizer, but it's getting a little bit out of my price range. It is currently $29, and um, the ingredients of that moisturizer is very simple, which is not a bad thing, but having such a simple ingredient list and selling it for $29, it's mm, I kind of have mixed feelings about that moisturizer currently. Um, I bought it two years ago on a Black Friday for like even less than $20, so it, it was kind of worth it, but now, I don't know. Uh, these are my, uh, this is my holy grail, the Geek and Gorgeous, uh, and these two are slowly becoming a holy grail, I freaking love them. Before I start, I see follow me on Instagram, I've talked a lot already. <laughs> uh, subscribe to this channel for more uh, skincare content, lifestyle. Uh, follow me on Instagram, of course. I am posting a lot more on Instagram currently. Uh, I posted about these moisturizers like two weeks ago, so it's like more fresh content in there, uh, content that I'm not really posting here on YouTube. Definitely follow me, follow me there, especially I'm posting a lot of my stories. Yeah, all that stuff. I have a TikTok account where I post also a lot currently. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna start with the texture. I wanna show you the texture, guys, because it's um, these are the type of moisturizers that I like. They are not gel moisturizers, like 90% of the fungal acne safe moisturizers, they do provide moisture, emolliency. Uh, so this is the minimalist, it's more of a gel moisturizer, but it still provides a lot of uh, moisture and hydration at the same time. And this is the Aliens Lab. Let me quickly. It's very lightweight, it seems very lightweight, but it does leave a nice moisturizing layer on the skin. Come on, what the fuck? And this is the uh, minimalist. As you can see, the spreadability, it's very different. Oh, they feel so nice. Fuck, I forgot to show you the texture of the Geek and Gorgeous one. This one is kind of like in between the, uh, it's not as runny as the Aliens, and it's not as thick as the Minimalist, but it is still closer to the Aliens, as you can see. Yeah, it's kind of in between those. Gorgeous texture, I really like the you can gorgeous one. Uh, they're all very affordable, the Minimalist one is around $4 actually on their website. It's an, it's an Indian brand. Um, I'm pretty sure of that. <laughs> I ordered it from a Romanian online store. Of course, the price was twice higher, but it's still worth it. Um, the Aliens Lab, I paid around um, $14, I'm, I, I would say. But you get 100 ml, which is twice more than these two. So in the end, it's still incredibly affordable, especially for the ingredient list. This one has a very impressive ingredient list. Speaking of the ingredients, I'm gonna start with the um, Minimalist. It has 10% panthenol, guys. 10% panthenol, it's a super high amount, one of the highest I've seen. Panthenol is gonna be soothing, hydrating, helps repair your skin barrier, keep your skin barrier in a good state. This feels amazing when I apply it on the skin. It has, um, it has a lot of silicones, which is what provides the emolliency in this one. If you don't like silicones in your skincare, you're not gonna like this one, but I love silicones. Um, because it has so, so much silicone in it, it feels a little bit like a primer when I apply it. It feels silky, it feels velvety. Uh, basically, if you guys have tried products with silicones, you know how, probably how this is gonna feel. Uh, I freaking love that feeling, to be honest. Um, what I like about this one is that it gives you this um, layer of moisturization, but it's, it feels breathable, it feels lightweight. 
uh, that's how silicones are. They're like forming this layer of protection, uh, not protection, of um, well, this protective layer, moisturizing, but it's breathable at the same time, unlike oils. That's, that's a different story. So the 10% panthenol makes it feel very, very hydrating. Um, it has also uh, this complex called uh, aquaxil. It's formed from a bunch of uh, sugars, uh, which is one of the best complex when it comes to hydration. Um, it has a little bit of zinc, which is supposed to be anti-acne. And besides that, just a bunch of silicones, a lot of silicones. Um, a very simple ingredient list, fungal acne safe, fragrance-free. Um, I've been testing this one for like two weeks and I'm in love with it. Um, because it has so much hydration, it tends to be a little bit sticky. Uh, I think some people, like, especially, depends on what you're applying underneath, but I find it a little bit sticky sometimes. I don't mind that feeling, but if you simply despise that feeling, then maybe you should skip this one. Uh, and yeah, so far, a winner. Inexpensive, fungal acne safe, 10% panthenol, which is amazing. Uh, and when I noticed that my skin doesn't really like high amounts of panthenol, but with this one, for some reason, it feels... It never stung my skin, it never, even when my moisture barrier is a little bit damaged or compromised, it still feels like soothing, non-irritating, magic in a bottle, in a tube. <laughs> Second moisturizer, the Aliens Lab or Aliens Lab maybe. This one, uh, even though it's, it has a more runny consistency, it feels heavier, it feels more moisturizing. I feel like it's gonna work even for people with dry skin. Uh, it, it even looks shinier on the skin. Uh, and I think it's because it has squalene 7%, it has caprylic triglyceride, another emollient. Uh, squalene, you guys know, I, I freaking love it. It's one of the few fungal acne safe oils. It's around $14, but you get 100 ml, so it, it's still very affordable. Um, it's fragrance free, fungal acne safe. It's fragrance free, but it has some kind of smell, some kind of like herbal scent from one of the ingredients, most probably. Um, it has 7% squalene, a panthenol 5%, glycerin is higher than panthenol, so between 5 to 7% of glycerin, which is amazing, it's an amazing humectant. A caprylic triglyceride is my favorite emollient. Um, it has zinc PCA, it has metacastaside, urea, allantoin, just a bunch of, a, a lot of amino acids, a more complex ingredient list, a more impressive ingredient list than the other two. Um, I've been experiencing with this one for just a couple of days, so I don't really have like a strong opinion, but I, I feel like it's more moisturizing. If you want more moisture, a more complex ingredient list, um, medicacicide is going to be soothing, it's an amazing antioxidant, just um, go with this. I bought this one also from a Romanian online store, I'm going to put the links down below, you guys can check it out. Uh, I think for this one I have a discount code for like 5%, so use that and I also get a commission and I appreciate if you use the link. Uh, same with the Geek and Gorgeous, have a link for them. Uh, not sure if you get a discount though, but I do get a commission. So uh, you guys, I raved about this one. I don't think I have to review it. I raved about this moisturizer for years at this point. One of the first good fungal acne safe moisturizers that actually has moisturization, em um, emolliency, hydration. This one has 6% uh, glycerin, it has um, ectoin, which is an amazing antioxidant, soothing for the skin. Um, it also has a very interesting emollient, as far as I remember. Check it out. But so far, these are my thoughts about the new moisturizers. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave some questions down below. Let me know what other fungal acne safe moisturizers you discovered and are currently using. Love you all. See you on my next video. Bye.